My name is Kain on the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to explain to you the concept of likelihood function in very short time. Now, if you want to read the details, you can now read it on my website, uh, kaintonthegenius.com, and you can see the uh, link in the description box. But for now, I'm just going to explain it in a very simple way, and I'm going to explain it from two different uh, perspectives, so that in, in case anyone that is easier for you to understand, you can then follow it. Let's take it from the first one, which is uh, sampling. So likelihood function is simply a function that helps you estimate a parameter, an unknown parameter, right? So let's say you have a big population and you, from this population, you take a bit of sample out of this population. Let's say a population of uh, of, uh, of a particular uh, state, then you simply take a sample of, let's say, five, uh, 100 people, and now this population has a parameter that is unknown. For instance, what is the, the mean height of, of the people in this country? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you now sample 100 people. Now, the likelihood function is simply a function that helps you estimate this parameter using the sample. So how does it work? So let's say this sample you, you have taken is something is, is x, and x has values. The heights of these people are given by x1, x2, x3, all the way to xn, okay? So the likelihood function is simply the function is normally represented as L, the function uh, of this parameter given your, your value, the values you have. So you have x1, x2, all the way to xn. <coughs> so basically, this is what the likelihood function is all about. And I'm going to now write it in a different way. So this is in a different way, so now uh, this is something you need to know, the relationship between likelihood and probability, but I'm not going to get into that now. I'd like you to read it up, but for now, just know that this is what likelihood function is all about. You can actually also look at it in terms of probability. I think if I just explain the probability aspect of it, uh, it will become clearer. You will understand what this function is all about. So now you already know that you can actually find the probability of this parameter given all of this. But now we, when we write something like this, we will not be right. We will actually be writing this should be the likelihood and not the probability. So. If we now say something like p x1 x2 all the way to xn, now we are saying probability of this observation of this height you have given the parameter. So this tends uh, not to make sense because we don't actually know this parameter. So we are will be using what we already have to get. The parameter we don't have. Let, let, let's let me break it down in this in this part. Let's assume we have two events A and B. Okay, so we can have let's say A is a is let's say that the height of people in a place is above three meter. So we can say probability of A. Let's say the height of people are is in a place is above three meters. Let, let's say this this may be uh, a place where the people are very tall. Then you can say the probability of A uh, may be high. Let's say it's high. Let's say 0 0.8 because these people are very tall. So we are saying this because that is the only only thing we know. We 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 have the height of these people. Uh, and we have not mentioned it actually, but we see people walking around and they are very tall. So we can actually say probability of A is 0 
Now, if somebody now comes and tell you that there are 1,000 people uh, in a hall, or there are being people making registration in some in some place, and they are measuring their height to be uh, 2.5, and they've registered about let's say a million people. Meanwhile, the population of the place is a little above one million. So now this additional information you have will now affect this probability that you already have, right? So it means that we can write something like probability of A. Now, if you are given this new information that you have, that a million people have been measured and their height was very low, it will no longer be 0 0.8. Maybe it will now come a little bit downwards. So basically, that is what we are talking about. So if you have if you have probability of a given b, then this is probability. But now if you have if you invert this and say p b given a, this is now likelihood. Is it a bit confusing? So just try to understand how it works. So I've explained it in this way. So if we invert this, we have likelihood. So in the same way. This, what we have here is likelihood, and what we have here is probability, right? So that is the what likelihood function is all about, and I would like to stop here, and I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed, and also I'll take some time to read in my website the clear explanation of the like, of likelihood function, and we'll see you in the next lesson.